The Kastner metric, developed by and named for the American mathematician Edward Kastner in 1921, is an exact solution to Einstein's theory of general relativity. It describes an anisotropic universe without matter, i.e., it is a vacuum solution. It can be written in any spacetime dimension. d greater than 3 display style d greater than 3 and has strong connections with the study of gravitational chaos. Topic. Metric and conditions The metric in d greater than 3 display style d greater than 3 spacetime dimensions is d s 2 equals minus d t 2 plus j equals 1 d minus 1 t 2 p j d x j 2 Display style text d s caret two equals text d t caret two plus sum underscore j equals one caret d one t caret two p underscore j text d x caret j caret two and contains d minus one display style d one constants p j display style p underscore j called the Kastner exponents. The metric describes a spacetime whose equal time slices are spatially flat, however space is expanding or contracting at different rates in different directions, depending on the values of the p j test particles in this metric whose comoving coordinate differs by delta x j Display style delta x caret j are separated by a physical distance t p j delta x j display style t caret p underscore j delta x caret j. The Kastner metric is an exact solution to Einstein's equations in vacuum when the Kastner exponents satisfy the following Kastner conditions j equals 1 d minus 1 p j equals 1 display style sum underscore j equals 1 caret d 1 p underscore j equals 1 j equals 1 d minus 1 p j Two equals one. Display style sum underscore j equals one caret d one p underscore j caret two equals one. The first condition defines a plane, the Kastner plane, and the second describes a sphere, the Kastner sphere. The solutions choices of p j display style p underscore j. Satisfying the two conditions therefore lie on the sphere where the two intersect sometimes confusingly also called the Kastner sphere. In d d spacetime dimensions, the space of solutions therefore lie on a d minus 3 d3 dimensional sphere s d minus 3 Display style s caret d three. Topic features. There are several noticeable and unusual features of the Kastner solution. The volume of the spatial slices is always o t. Display style o t. This is because their volume is proportional to minus g. Display style sqrt g and minus g equals t p one 
plus p 2 plus plus p d minus 1 equals t Display style sqrt g equals t caret p underscore one plus p underscore two plus c d o t s plus p underscore d one equals t, where we have used the first Kastner condition. Therefore, t zero display style t to zero can describe either a Big Bang or a Big Crunch, depending on the sense of t display style t. Isotropic expansion or contraction of space is not allowed. If the spatial slices were expanding isotropically, then all of the Kastner exponents must be equal, and therefore p j equals one d minus one. Display style p underscore j equals one d one to satisfy the first Kastner condition. But then the second Kastner condition cannot be satisfied for j equals one d minus one p j two equals one d minus one does not equal one. Display style sum underscore j equals one carrot d one p underscore j carrot two equals frac one d one neq one. The Friedman Lemaitre Robertson Walker metric employed in cosmology, by contrast, is able to expand or contract isotropically because of the presence of matter. With a little more work, one can show that at least one Kastner exponent is always negative unless we are at one of the solutions with a single p j equals 1 display style p underscore j equals 1 and the rest vanishing suppose we take the time coordinate t display style t to increase from 0 then this implies that while the volume of space is increasing like t display style t at least one direction corresponding to the negative kastner exponent is actually contracting the Kastner metric is a solution to the vacuum Einstein equations, and so the Ricci tensor always vanishes for any choice of exponents satisfying the Kastner conditions. The full Riemann tensor vanishes only when a single p j equals one display style p underscore j equals one, and the rest vanish, in which case the space is flat. The Minkowski metric can be recovered via the coordinate transformation t equals t cosh x j display style t equals t cosh x underscore j and x j equals t sin x j Display style x underscore j equals t sin x underscore j. Topic. See also. BKL singularity. Mixmaster universe. Topic. Notes. Topic. References. Misner, Charles W., Kip S. Thorne, John Archibald Wheeler September 1973. Gravitation. San Francisco, W. H. Freeman. ISBN 0-7167-0344-0.